And today I'm working with a year two class and we are looking at story writing, um, scary stories. Um, our focus for the lesson is to describe a setting and our context we're looking at a haunted house. The children will be working with talk partners today to explore the context of the um, haunted house. They will be talking about using their senses so what they can hear, see, touch if they stepped into the image and really explored everything going around on the haunted house. We're linked it, linking it to our ICANN statements of taking turns, using cooperation to work together and asking questions to help them understand um, the setting that they're describing. Okay, so our walk today is describing a setting, and the setting we are looking at is our haunted house. Have a look at it. I'm going to give you a few, just a minute, just to have a talk with your talk partner. What can you actually see in that, in that picture of the haunted house? Think about everything you can see off you go. Do you remember in year one you did Mary Poppins? Yeah. Do you remember Mary Poppins has a big chalk picture, doesn't she, that's been drawn for her on the floor? And when she steps into it, she ends up on a merry-go-round, doesn't she? Yeah. She ends up entering a horse race. We're going to pretend to step into this picture, just like Mary Poppins does. Okay? So, I want you to think about, if you were to step into this picture, and you ended up standing on the steps, on the steps in front of... The haunted house. How would you be feeling? How would you act if you were on those steps? Ten seconds with your partner. How would you act? Not just scared. What does that look like? What does scared look like? What would you do, Daisy? Would you be your tiptoe? Excellent idea. What would you do, Theo? You'd knock. What if it creaked open, though? Mm. Okay, three, two, one. Should we have a go at acting how we'd feel if we stepped into it? Can you, really quickly and quietly, move into a circle so you're still next to your talk partner, please? That is lovely. Well done. That was really quick. James, is there space for you and Lily? Look, there's lots of space over there. I love how polite you'll be into each other. Well done. Saying excuse me so that you can fit in. Okay, who feels brave enough to act out? They're going to step into the picture of the haunted house. Let's have you, Carter and Amelia, would you like to stand up? And as soon as you take a step forward, you've got to pretend that you've stepped into it and you're going to be on the steps of that haunted house. Okay, off you go, step in. How would you act? Go on then, tiptoe round. How would you move? Would you be crouching down or standing up still, do you think? You'll be standing still. What if you heard a noise? What could they do if they heard a noise? They could run. Or what if it came from behind them? Could they turn around really quickly? Okay. Should we let someone else have a go then, guys? You look like you're frozen because you were so scared then. Um, Isabel and James, do you want to have a go? And you come as soon as you step into it, thinking about how you would move. Remember all those trees? Uh, trees and leaves would be rustling and the wind howling. Oh, I love how James is crouching down. Suddenly you hear a noise. <gasps> Excellent, I loved how they turned around. And James has run away. That's super, well done. Okay, we'll have one more go. Um, let's have... Elliot, do you want to have a go? And Elliot and Zoe, you can come in all together, so stand up. Go on then, how you would move, see if you can do something different. How would you move around? Would you be looking everywhere? Oh, Elliot, you did that before, didn't you? Elliot's hiding by the looks of it. Zoe's tiptoeing really carefully. Oh, Elliot's tiptoeing as well, trying not to make any noise because you don't want to scare anyone in the haunted house. Okay, can sit back down for me. That was super, well done. Um, children at the front, can I ask you just to move so you can see the boards? Everyone else can stay where you are. That's perfect, Carter, just turning around. Okay, move back a little bit. Today, children, you are going to be working with your talk partner and you're going to have this exact page ready for you, just like this one here.